It's actually kind of hard to find a quiet spot to do a review for Guardians of the Galaxy. This is my second attempt at recording one because the dialogue volume was so high, I was almost inaudible, but that's okay, let's do this again. I had a bad time with Guardians of the Galaxy. The story is good, the writing is good, the character interactions are pretty good. There's some fun character development along the way. It really feels like the team is gelling together and you get to meet some interesting characters from the Marvel universes. Everything else about the game sucks. Combat is a huge part of the game and it just feels like padding. Unfun, boring padding. I quickly, after a couple of chapters, turn the difficulty down as easy as possible, increasing my damage to max and trying to make the cooldowns of things faster and all that sort of stuff, just to try and get through it quicker because the combat was so bad and it proceeded to stay bad for the rest of the game. There is so much of it and so many guys that take so much damage and I was using my guardian abilities to set up staggers and using elements some people who are weak to them to try and make them weaker. And it still just felt like you're just wailing on things forever and ever and ever. And the back half of the game is just filled with constant combat encounters with tons and tons and tons of guys. And it's all just bad. I did not enjoy the combat system one bit. And Perhaps that's on me, perhaps I'd missed something in some of the tutorials about how to make it fall better, but it just felt like I was using my guardian abilities on cooldowns whenever they came off cooldowns, and then things were just still taking forever to die. I have also had an incredibly buggy and glitch-filled experience with the entire game. I took about 20 hours to finish it, and I've got about 6 gigs of recorded footage hopefully none of which has licensed audio on it because as you can see from the top I had to turn streaming mode on to make sure my review doesn't get blocked for copyright music like my initial attempts to stream the game were but I'm going to make a montage of all the bad times I have with the game I would find myself falling out of bounds uh, getting caught behind scenery and getting killed because of it I got into situations where a fight would refuse to proceed because bad guys didn't spawn in to continue the fight to the point where I had to actually load a previous chapter of the game to get through it. And even stuff like the very end of the game had a bug where I was unable to continue walking forward to be able to proceed with the ending of the game. And as you can imagine, having recorded this just after finishing it, kind of soured me a little bit more and I was already sour on the whole dang thing because there were just so frequent problems and bugs and texture problems and things popping in and out of existence and it feels unpolished it feels like it was released too soon and maybe rushed a little bit to get out for that Christmas market I got it for half price after it had been out for about three weeks and honestly I still feel like I paid too much money for it you might get a tenner's worth of enjoyment out of the game for the story. There are a lot of dialogue choices to make, the vast majority of which do absolutely nothing to the story, but one or two have a, a, a few more meaningful impacts, and you'll generally know them because you don't have a time limit for them. But yeah, a tenner at most. Otherwise, I can't even recommend watching people play it because they'd have to be playing it in streaming mode without the licensed music, which is a big part of the charm of the whole thing. At least the 80s music is pretty good. But that's more of a testament to the music than the game. And as soon as I'm done with this review, I'm going to take it and trade it in. And see if I can get some of my money back. But I did not have a good time with this. And honestly, I just wish it had been better.